apparently, Bishop, the people heard that Peter would be passing by this way. So they came. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's wonderful to be with you at the Church of the Holy Rosary on this memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. As um, we gather this day, we're especially mindful of the ways that God has blessed us in many different ways in our lives. But today, we're grateful for the ways that God has blessed us in the personhood of our Blessed Mother who is the mother of Jesus, of course, uh, as well as our mother given to us at the uh, cross by Jesus. And so as we gather this day, let us be mindful of God's goodness and compassion. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you almighty God and <coughs> Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, the Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy, holy is his name. name. My soul proclaims <coughs> the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in in their conceit. The Almighty, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has cast down the, the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The, the Almighty, Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. name. He has come to help he has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
you and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked. And my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up and give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he wants, whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive seek and you will find knock and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks the door will be opened what father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg if you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will the father in heaven give you give the holy spirit to those who ask him the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ, christ. <laughs> our readings today um the parable especially um can be a little bit confusing insofar as uh, it's uh, at first thought you think well um, if it's talking about prayer um, it almost seems like okay well we just have to keep trying and we're going to convince God to change his mind um, you know it's interesting back in Jesus' day um, the man says I don't want to get up because I'm, I'm going to disturb the rest of the family and the reason why was because unlike now when maybe the parents sleep in one room and the children are in another room or rooms. Um, back then, they all slept together um, in the same room, um, especially around the fireplace to, to keep themselves warm. And so it's very realistic, this um, parable. Jesus uh, is talking about a situation where if the father gets up and has to climb over kids, um, he's going to wake them all up, and um, who knows when they'll get back to sleep. And so it seems that first thought, at first glance, well, I guess that's the way God our Father operates. That uh, if we keep going at it, we're going to wear God down. And yet, that's not the point of this parable. It's, it's clear what St. Luke says at the very beginning. He says, you have to be persistent. Persistent not so much with changing God's mind, but persistent and faithful in opening ourselves up to, to God. In our lives. Today, as we gather on this memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary, um, it's a wonderful passage for us to look to the Blessed Mother as one who consistently looked at the face of Jesus throughout her life. Um, there were times in which she looked at that face of Jesus as an enduring face. We think of the time in which she gives birth to this newborn child. Um, as any parent can testify, when you first see that child, there's that sense of, of awe uh, with a human baby. Um, can you imagine the Blessed Mother um, looking at her newborn infant, who's both God and human, and not only the sense of awe, but the sense of adoration. There's also the Blessed Mother who looks at the face of Jesus in a trusting look. You think of the story of Cana, in which she goes to Jesus and tells Jesus this quandary that they find themselves in, that they've run out of wine. And then she goes to the waiters and just tells them to do as he says. And then she just steps back. She steps back in trust as Jesus, she knows, will do the right thing, will do the best thing for that couple. The Blessed Mother, she certainly looks at Jesus at times with perhaps a confused look. Um, we think of how when Jesus was separated from his parents in the temple at 
the age of 12, she and Joseph find Jesus talking to this group of people, scholars of the law, and mesmerizing them. Um, <coughs> this 12-year-old um, mesmerizing them as he's explaining scriptures to these scholars. And then he turns to the Blessed Mother and Joseph and say, don't you know that I must be about my father's business? So therefore she's with the, that confusing look. There's the sorrowful gaze of Jesus of Mary as she looks upon Jesus carrying the cross <coughs> to Calvary and being crucified um, at Golgotha. Um, she looks at that Jesus with that sorrowing heart of a mother. She looks upon Jesus, as we heard in our first reading today, with the gaze of expectation. She's gathered there with the 11 apostles, patiently waiting for what God's plan is next going to unfold. Ultimately, of course, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's really the purpose of the rosary. Our Blessed Mother, we look to her and we unite her so that we might be strengthened with her to gaze on the face of Jesus. So we too, at those times in our lives in which we're in awe of the wonders of God or confused about what's going on in the situation of our lives or in the lives of other people or sorrowful at perhaps the loss of someone or some illness, we again continue to look at the face of Jesus. We come back to the parable. That's the story of persistence. To know that Jesus is with us and in prayer we continue to look at Jesus with our human heart um, as we experience and as we go through life's journey. Um, we look to Jesus with all of the different feelings and all of the situations and places that we find ourselves in, continually opening up ourselves to God in prayer. God in prayer is the Blessed Mother did with above all that expectant heart. Let us as we are mindful of the Blessed Mother. Let us look to her as an example, as a guide, as one who can continue to strengthen us to look to Jesus, to look to Jesus with our heart and in our heart as Mary did. <laughs> With faith and confidence in God's love, let us present our needs this day. For priests and religious, may the Spirit shield them and strengthen them for the building of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an end to all war and for those who work to secure peace among nations and peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who are suffering from illness, May Christ, the divine physician, bring them complete healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who offer their time and talent in our faith community, may the Lord bless them and encourage them in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of all the faithful departed, may they soon come to rest in the everlasting peace of Christ, most especially for Jim Sullivan being remembered today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? We are having surgery this morning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Nella, for her battle of cancer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the young boy, uh, Chance. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, good and loving God, we ask you to look upon us in all of our needs, both those spoken as well as those which remain in the silence of our hearts. We have asked these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. By your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. By your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name, on this memorial of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels <coughs> praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, we proclaim and your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those calls to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. communion today usually I come to you but if we could just do the front row first coming here to the bishop and then the second row after that and file back in the room. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord, our God, that just as we proclaim in the sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so, being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's wonderful uh, being with you. It's a beautiful church you have here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, especially on this day of, uh, in which we remember our Blessed Mother under the title of Our Lady of the Rosary. So in that context, why don't we pray the Hail Mary? Why don't you do it three times? Does that sound good? Yes. Very good. Yeah. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you and keep you. Amen. May he be gracious to you and show his face to you. Amen. May you know his love and his peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. And thanks be to God. Before uh, the bishop leaves, well, of course, I think uh, since we're welcoming him to the diocese, we should sing our song of celebration. We sing on Sundays to anybody who has having a good celebration, okay? We don't sing usually here because of its close space, but... Pluribus annos, pluribus, pluribus annos, pluribus, pluribus annos, prospero. Welcome, good to have you. Thank you very much. I'll forever remember Our Lady of Rosary on this day that I visited the church. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Thank you, Father.